equalizing and EQ is one of the favorite things, my favorite things to do. I, I like EQ and everything. I just, I EQ stuff whether it needs it or not. A lot of times I have to take it off, but sometimes you find some cool things. I don't know why. I just like, I just like, I just like EQ and stuff. Um, in the, in the vocal process, when you're using an equalizer to record, I would be careful. Uh, and, and that's hard for me to say, be careful, but I would be careful. Uh, it, it's okay to take out some of the mud from the bottom. It's okay to, to tame a little bit of the high end. I'm not a big fan of DSing uh, going to tape, uh, but you can. Um, I guess that qualifies more as a dynamic function than an equalizer function, but I look at them kind of as the same. Um, in, in the real world, the Massenberg 8200 is just wonderful. The Avalon 2055 is amazing. But you're saying to yourself, Dave, what about a 1073? I don't use 1073s too much. I'll tell you why. Um, everybody uses them, and, and it's hard to separate yourself from the pack sometimes when you use what everybody is using. Uh, and also, it's an older technology, so you don't get access to all the EQ points you want. Back then, if you had 4, 800, 16, 5K and 10K, you were happy. But nowadays, we work in smaller increments. But if that's your thing and you've got one, please use it. They're, they, they're amazing pieces of, of gear. I tend to like more parametric type equalizers. Um, the Millennia is a good equalizer going to tape. What I look for going to tape is either either committing to a sound that I like, a coloration that I like, so the knee would qualify under that, uh, some of the APIs. Coming off a of tape in the mix process, I, I, would, I would do something different. Now, recording to tape, there's several plugins I like a lot. I like the MDW 3 and 5 by UAD. I love the new um, IK Multimedia 432 EQs. It's a great copy of the Maslek EQ, which is a great, great mastering EQ. Super top end on it. I love the top end on Fabrice Gabriel's IOSIS Air EQ. Uh, I love Cliff Mogg's EQ4. I use it on everything. So EQ judiciously, maybe to clear out some mud. When you're EQing to tape, make sure you've got a fairly accurate representation of the track that it's going to sit in. And be patient. Be smart. None of the things I am. <laughs> and, and wait till the mix process to make your final choices. I, I don't have that kind of self-control, so... Uh, but I can bail myself out pretty easy, so I got a little backup plan there. EQ is kind of a necessary thing, not so much these days because we've got great tools and great mics, but it's a good thing to have that in your vocabulary.